Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to talk about a new notebook that I got from Schoolnest, and that is this USA Geography Notebook. And it goes into the study of all the 50 states. And I looked through it, and it's a very nice layout for each state, and there's even plenty of room to build on. So it's really good. Let's go ahead and get into it. So as soon as you open to the first page, it's just the title page again. Just a cute um, background of the outline of the states. And then here's what's called studying the states and the things that you can do as you study the states, which is you can trace the map at the state capitol, draw in important details, draw the flag, put in some famous findings, put in some important people, the climate and region, and personal connections. So there's so many things that we can study about each state. So the next page here is an empty map and they even kind of spread it out a little bit. This just looks beautiful to start with, but also it's just nice that it's all blank and there's plenty of room so that they can write in the states. Um, and then it says you can color in each state as you learn, which that's a really good idea to do so that it'll feel like an accomplishment when it is all finished colored in. Then the next page is just a list of all the 50 states and it's in alphabetical order. Also, it gives the abbreviation for each state. Here, I really like this page because it gives you an idea of what you can use each page for. So for every state, there's gonna be boxes and they give you ideas here of what you can put in those boxes. So for example here, it says you can find a photo of a famous person from the state and tape it there. Then there's gonna be another box around here where you can put a picture of like a landscape or a landmark that represents the state. And then there's gonna be like a wider box going like this. And it says you could just write an interesting fact. And then down here in this corner, you can draw a picture of the state flower or state bird. And then finally, there's gonna be a rectangular, <laughs> rectangular box here where you can um, put the state flag. These are just ideas. You could put whatever you want because it's just blank boxes, um, but definitely just some really great ideas of what you can paste there. And then here's an example of a state, you know, pretending that this is a state, the outlining of it. They're gonna have an outline, a shaded outline of a state, but it's gonna be blank. And what it's gonna have is a blank box where it's the key. So you can add um, your own key because every state of course will be different. Some won't have national parks or things like, or lakes. Um, so you can, each page will be different. You could put your own key on what you want to add in that state. You can put the state capital, you can put, like it says here, like a national forest or park, um, lakes, and then of course you can just add your own. You can put monuments or landmarks, really anything that you can think of. And so they give you kind of an idea of how that looks like here. But let's see what it looks like when you go to it. But before getting there, there's a page here, um, what to do with all the blank graph paper. So as I go along, you're gonna see also blank pages of graph paper. And so this is a list of things you can use that for. And so um, I'll just go ahead and read through this. It says the blank graph paper between each state is for your extended studies. Go into more detail on your own or find interactive notebook printables to use and tape into the space. The first two pages give you a little guidance and the next two pages are for all other details you would like to add about the state. You can even draw a more detailed map, make it elaborate and artistic, adding details about cities and local culture and people, tape in images you print out or photocopy from books or keep it simple and write some notes and a small paragraph. Dig deep into some states and keep others simple. Materials best for this paper, you can use stickers, you can print your own, um, pencils, pens, colored pencils, uh, double-sided tape or glue, so, you know. And then just a little note that I wanted to add here is where it says that you can um, find interactive notebook printables. I was thinking 
If you find a actual uh, geography curriculum, lots of times they have printables or they have pages like perforated pages, um, activity pages, where you can draw or do like an activity and you can always use those pages, um, cut it out if you need to, um, but you can put those on the graph paper as well. So here's the first state. So the first state is Alabama. Um, these are the boxes that I was talking about from the first example page where it gives you the ideas of what you can put in each box. This one is the one you can write the facts. Um, and then this one is the flag. Um, so this is what it looks like for an actual state. They have the shaded state here. And this is the box for the key that you wanna put, you know, add in things that you wanna remember about the state. I was even thinking that if you really want to keep it more simple, at least it seems simple to me, I don't know if it's simple to you, but you can even print out something that is the same size or maybe just slightly bigger than this. Print out something that you find online about the state that has it all there already, and you could just post that here over this shaded um, state. Just a thought. And then here are the blank graph pages that they was talking about. So between every state, so you see that this looks the same for the next state, and then it has the graph paper in between. And that's how it will look for all the states. Ah, I'm going kind of fast, sorry. <laughs> and then of course, for every state, next to the name of the state, it will also have the abbreviation. So that is very nice. Let's see if there's anything on the very back. So on the very back, again, it just has that same, it looks the same as the very front where it just has the blank states, but um, it's the thank you page and where it says their website and their Instagram. So that's it, blank here. And this is the back of it. So I'm really excited to use this so much because I think of all their subject notebooks, this one seems very interactive. There's a lot of activities you can do here. And of course, School Nest is always very simple and School Nest always leaves a lot of room for creativity, which I love. Um, but at the same time, it also gives you a lot of ideas as well. So that way you're not like, like if you're like me and you're not that creative and you're like, I don't know what to put in this, these boxes, you're not like left in the dark either. They give you plenty of ideas you can use for that and plenty of ideas you can use for the graph paper as well. Um, so my son is not going to be using this this year because he's already doing history quest history and he's doing he's just very busy with all his other subjects but definitely in the future i really can't wait to use this and um, i'm just so grateful that they made this this is going to be a nice organized way to just put all of the states together and help them remember all this, the facts about the states Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Um, if you want to grab yourself a notebook like this, I'll leave the link in my description box. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!